Today we are going to talk about chapter 1, which we call the introduction. Introduction of the creativity and the innovation. There is, I'm going to tell you about the main topic of chapter 1. We will study this chapter and explain it uh, uh, together about these uh, following topics. Uh, the first topic is about the nature and the characteristics of the creative thinking. And the second topic is about the differences between creative thinking and the other types of thinking. The third one is about the definitions of terms in this chapter, and uh, we will explain the definition of creativity, the creative process, and creative product. Then we will uh, go through the criteria of the creative uh, thinking or, uh, and the product. Okay. Uh, first of all, there is a difficulty in agreeing on definitions of creativity. Why? The question is why there is a difficulty in agreeing on definitions of creativity. It is related to many fields because creativity is a word. Creativity related to many fields. Engineering, uh, uh, psychology, education, arts, every field of this field obtain creativity or creative thinking. We can use the creative thinking to develop a new idea or new product or new solution. So a single definition can suit, there is no a single definition can suit all of these fields, of course. The acceptance, the second reason why there is a difficulty in agreeing on the definition uh, of creativity. The acceptance of creative product varies uh, over time, uh, over, uh, over time, is various, or various over time, different from time to time. The acceptance to, uh, of creative product are different from time to time. In all the time, in ancient time, there is uh, something like refusing any new product, any new uh, idea, any they, they used to stuck with the uh, familiar product, the familiar solution, or familiar idea. Third reason is the complexity of creativity. Why the creativity is complex? Because it happened in our minds. It happened in our mind. And by the way, we have two minds, the conscious and subconscious mind. Okay? Uh, uh, four different approaches investigating creativity through I can define the creativity through uh, defining the, pro uh, the creative product, the creative person, or creative process, or environment. Okay? We we'll talk about chapter 1. In chapter 1, in chapter 1, full of definition. The most important topic in chapter 1, topics in chapter 1, is our, the definition, the different definition about the creative component. Uh, the creative component uh, uh, composed of content uh, for uh, elements, uh, for main elements, and the fifth is about five elements indeed, uh, about uh, uh, product, person, process, environment, and the fifth one is about the fruit. When the first four integrated together, they will produce the fifth one, which is product. So we'll start with the definition. The second uh, creativity uh, means 
means something new, creating something new, anything new. But the question is completely new or relatively new? Completely new, like black and white television. Relatively new, like colored television. Both of them is creative product. We can say that for sure. Both of them will, uh, was, uh, uh, is a, are a creative product. But creativity or creative thinking, uh, we're going to uh, define between the creative thinking and the other types of thinking. The other types of thinking, many types of thinking. But the most famous types of thinking is the stereotype thinking and the analytical thinking. We will compare between these two famous types of thinking and the creative thinking. The stereotype thinking based on the past experience. Go to the old solution and try to use it in the recent problem. That's mean why. What? That means that I will never create any new solution or new idea or new product because I will always go to the past and use the the solution what I used to, what I'm familiar to. Secondly, the, the analytical uh, thinking is based on logic. How? Go to the old solutions or products and try to compare between them to get the best one of them according to its pros and the cons. To choose the best one okay that means there is no new product or new idea or new solution but it's better than stereotype because it is comparing between the old solution or product or idea and to get the best one of them analytical analytical thinking analytical thinking okay so but how about the creative thinking? The creative thinking is the thinking with unfamiliar way of thinking. It is the unfamiliar way of thinking. No, no past experience. No old solution or old product or old uh, situation or old uh, idea or anything. No. Unfamiliar way of thinking. And looking to the thing from different angles. What's the meaning of looking to the thing from different angles? Looking to the problem from different angles. How I can solve the problem? From different angles of this problem. Solve it by what? Use what? Which tools I am going to use? Every time I, use, I, I try different tools to solve this problem. Okay? And its main tools is imagination. Yes, this is the big difference between the uh, creative thinking and the other types of thinking. It is based on imagination. What's the meaning of based on the imagination? I'll give you an example. The boat work on the surface. Of water but by imagination for some scientists why doesn't work under the surface of, the work of the water this is the imagination okay imagination of everything to get it a real one creativity as a way of thinking and we define the differentiate between them uh, here are some examples of creative ideas. 
some examples new products any new product new completely new or relatively new new service the same new form of organization or companies new organizational structure okay you know the organizational structure uh, structure about the levels of management and uh, the different types of uh, departments activities and some so on new way of teaching like online teaching it's a new way of teaching mobiles it's a product computers greenhouses fish farms uh, undergrounding uh, our highway, laser, and others. This is some definitions of terms. There are two trends in defining creativity, narrow sense and the broad sense. The narrow sense is through the ability or uh, combination of ability uh, like flexibility, uh, originality, and something like that. And the broad sense is about the component of the creativity, like a, a creative process, creative person, creative environment, creative or climate, uh, creative uh, techniques, or something like that. Uh, Proposed definition for the creative ability, uh, creative thinking is creativity is the individual capacity. It is not the collective capacity. It is individual capacity. For a single person, individual capacity. To generate individual capacity to what? To generate new ideas or new solutions or new products, whatever. The capacity, this capacity, this individual capacity, includes some abilities, such as flexibility. Flexibility means looking to the thing from different angles to solve it, to solve it. Fluency, to generate more and more and more new idea, new solution, and so on. Originality, originality means the original copy, not imitating any other idea and they make it a new idea. No. The abilities are influenced by these abilities, which include in the individual capacity, influenced by personality and the environmental environment spectrum. How to in, in, in personality? Different person have different personality. The different persons have different personality. So each one, his personality influences his individual capacity. Environment, yes, the environment which includes culture and other uh, factors. For sure, influence the creative abilities. Now we uh, define the creative thinking and uh, now we go into uh, the next topics is about uh, about uh, creative process. As I told you from seconds, that we have two minds. The conscious mind, which was I talking to you with, and the subconscious mind, I saw this subconscious mind in dreams on you. When I'm sleeping, you work in 24 hours per day. These two minds 
working together to produce many solutions, many information, many uh, ideas, many uh, for product and uh, everything. But the creative process, according to what's happened in our mind, it depends on the change in the existing condition. To create something new, it concentrate uh, 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 on the change in the existing condition. The existing condition for any object. They uh, work on how to change this exist existing uh, condition to make a new condition. Relationship of elements to make a new whole. Change the relationship between elements to make a new whole. The relationship, three types of relationship. Cause and result. Similarity. Contrast. Problem solving in a uh, uh, unconventional convention or novel idea. Proposed definition for the creative process is about a, about the creative process is a mental activity. Why it is a mental activity? Because it happens in our mind. To combine elements in novel way. The element of the object. The element of the idea. The element of the product. Working in our minds to change the relationship between elements to make a new or novel one, which result in better solution, better product, better idea, and so on. So we now talked about the how we study these two topics. We not yet. We don't uh, finish the definition of terms but I care about how you study these two topics the first one is about the natures and characteristics of the creative thinking and how to uh, differentiate between the, uh, the different types of thinking with comparing with the, uh, comparing with the creative thinking, you must read the book after that because it's full of details. After that, you go through the PowerPoint and study the PowerPoint as a revise to what you read in the book. What you read in the book, okay? So solve the exercise according to its number. Exercise one the, related to chapter one. So you have to solve the exercise and the assignment and the quizzes by two chapters. After that, you will be a very good and full understanding with. Uh, the topics in chapter one. The new product I can uh, say that it's a practical new product or a practical product because it's uh, it's cost uh, reasonable. It has a reasonable cost and uh, reasonable effort to get it and uh, reasonable uh, results so if I, if the scientist discover a new drugs or medicine for the cancer disease which cost billions to get one tablet from the whale 
liver. It is not a useful medicine. I can't achieve this one. I can't use it around the world. So it's not, not a practical discovery. After that, we will go into the criteria for creative thinking, uh, creative, uh, creative thinking of the creative thinking kinds and the measurements. The criteria uh, of the creative thinking, uh, two types. Uh, kinds of criteria, objective criteria, and subjective criteria. What do mean? What do we are? What do we mean by objective criteria? Objective criteria means academic grade, such as academic grade. Something I can find, something I can depend on, like uh, certificate, scientific certificate. Academic grades, PhD, master degree, and so on. Publication re review uh, in any scientific magazine. Uh, committee reports, and so on. This is the uh, objective criteria. So if I ask somebody to tell me about something, uh, somebody uh, to tell me about certain uh, person, is it a creative person or not? He said uh, some uh, objective criteria, like that he, ha he ha uh, highly educated, uh, get a PhD degree, he published three uh, books, uh, uh, he ha had a, a lot of publication, uh, researches or something like that. So, so it's an, 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 an indicator to this person. But subjective, subjective criteria, it is different than objectives. Something you, I can't uh, feel it or touch it or found it. Depend on opinion. If I ask about any person, and if he is a creative person or not, I ask uh, his teacher, because he, she or he uh, loved him or like him, she said, yes, this person is a creative person, but it's just her opinion, his opinion, his parents. The supervisor, all of them, just tell me an opinion, a personal opinion about this person. I can't depend on something like certificate or academic grade or something like that. It's just an opinion. So. Uh, if I talk about the uh, measurement of creativity, p p measurement about the person creativity and the product creativity. The sources of information about uh, uh, the creative persons is uh, the person himself. I'm asking him, I'm talking to him to discover his traits creative traits on and ask uh, her, his parent or her parent, her or he, his peers, teachers and supervisor to give me an information about if he is a creative person or not. Two areas of measure, measure, uh, measurement, two areas of measurement, creative potential the future in here possible creative performance creative pot uh, potential was some proposed criteria the strength of reputation 
uh, and the judge of judgment of experts. The potential and the actual. The possible and the actual. The actual one is the creative performance. His performance is very, very good. He's a challenge performance. But about the creative potential, it is possible to, to do something. The products, creativity, or creative products, examples of products in patent get approved from governmental or central uh, units that it is a, pro a new product a creative product publications and idea two levels of creative product two levels two levels of creative product higher level this is the first hand a new insight a new insight. Altrus, the uh, universe of meaning. Altrus, the universe of meaning. New insight production and the production. Lower level, the, re the, re the second hand or reproduced production and the imitating it is the, uh, the second hand of the reproduction products so it is not like the uh, the first hand or uh, higher level of product uh, if you ask me you have to concentrate on the definitions of terms you have to concentrate on the criteria, two types of the criteria, subjective and objectives. You have to concentrate on the different types of thinking, You're comparing with the creative thinking. Uh, the proposed definition for each uh, product and uh, creative thinking and creative process and the mechanism of each one of them uh, to concentrate. As I told you, in two minutes or three minutes, you have to solve the exercise and the assignment and quizzes. But the quizzes is about two chapters. Every two chapters, you will solve a quiz. You will solve a quiz, but uh, for, the, for each chapter you have solved the exercise and the assignment. Uh, now I finish chapter one, which you will give it into two lectures. Uh, as I told you, uh, the three topics. Uh, of, of this chapter is very important. Thank you for your time and I will talk to you later.